what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to make this keyhole neckline so let's get started the first thing is to cut out your dress and then you come over here to mark out the neckline so for mine i'm using two and a half inches you place your tape here and then mark two and a half inches and then for the back neckline you use one and a half inch and then you draw a line here and then you draw a curved line here like this for the front neckline i'll use three inches so you mark three inches here and then you drag this line down to this place And then you also draw a curved line here like this. Again, I marked two and a half inches on this part. And then marked one and a half inch for the back neckline. And then for the front neckline, I used three inches for the depth. So I have three inches. And then you draw a curved line here like this. And then you cut out the back neckline. And then you remove the back from the front. So you take off the back bodies and then you fold your front bodies. So here's the front bodies. I'll go ahead and cut out the neckline. And then you come here and mark five inches. You can use six inches, depends on how deep you want your keyhole to be. So you mark five inches. And then you just draw a line from here, like this, down to this place. So I have about one and a half inch here. Draw the line like this. And then you go ahead and cut. So here's the keyhole neckline. The next thing is to get a piece of fabric. You fold it into two. And the length of my fabric is about 16 inches from your shoulder to the waistline. So I have 16 inches. And then I've placed my front bodies on the pieces like this. So I'm going to cut it out. Here's the facing for the front bodies. For the collar, you fold your fabric into two and then you take your next circumference divided by two. So I have 18 inches and then you add half inch to it. So I have 18 and a half inches. And then for the length of my collar, I have five and a half inches. So when I fold my collar, I will attach it to the dress with half inch and then I'll have two and a half inches. With the right sides facing each other, you go ahead and sew this part together. So you place your facing on the dress, right sides facing each other, and you go ahead and sew from here down to this place. You leave this part open. You sew only this part, and then you snip it around, and then you flip it inside out. The next step is to join the shoulders together 
and then you attach the sleeves and then you join the sides of your dress and then i'll be back to show you how to fix the collar to fix the collar you fold it into two like this Fold it like this to get the midpoint and then you notch. So you take the stitched part, you pin it to the back neckline. So I've marked the midpoint of the back neckline. You pin it right sides facing each other. And then you go ahead and pin the entire collar to the dress. Again, I've marked the midpoint of the collar. And then I marked the midpoint of the neckline. So here's the front part. So you pin the notched part to the front neckline. You're just going to make a stitch on this part. And then you pin it like this. And then you take the stitched part of the collar, you pin it to the back neckline. And then you go ahead and pin the entire collar to the neckline. So after pinning the entire collar to the neckline, you go ahead and sew. You sew it around. So after joining the collar to the dress, you fold this part up like this, and then you make a stitch on it like this. So you stitch this part. So here's the dress with the keyhole neckline. Please like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. I love you for watching. Thank you.